Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game, a very interactive chess game from the chess history from 1892, New York. And this is also one of the interactive chess games of Emmanuel Lesker against a strong club chess player John Ryan. And let's see what happened in this chess game. So Emmanuel Lesker starts the game with d4, g6, c3, bishop to g7 and pushing the pawn. So developing the pieces, defending the e-pawn, bishop to d3, knight to b6, knight to e2, d5, e5, by Lesker, defending the knight, pushing the h-pawn, immediately charging from the h-file, and knight to c4. It looks like this is a good spot for the knight, this is also attacking the b-pawn and also attacking the bishop, but can you see the best move in this position? <laughs> Well, basically in this position, black is losing a pawn. This is already losing, so black didn't see this. Lesker captured the knight, capturing the bishop, and then knight to a3 and how to defend the pawn. Black maybe thought that he is defending the pawn. But Emmanuel Lesker simply captured the pawn, knight takes on c4. And knight to d5. If capturing the knight, then queen check and getting back the material and in this position white is a pawn up. So this is better for white. White is better. So this is why in this position, without any fear, Emmanuel Lesker simply captured the pawn and knight to d5. Queen to d2, capturing the bishop and Lesker has two knights and black has the bishop pair. Emmanuel Lesker is giving the bishop pair to his opponent, but he has the better position, so white, white's position is preferred. And also, uh, white is a pawn up, so that is also important. c6, h5 by Emmanuel Lesker, moving forward. Bishop to e6, attacking the bishop, and bishop goes back. Well, we see simplification, capturing the pawns, exchanging the rooks, and queen to d3, and we have queen to b6. Well, in this position, if some random move, maybe Lesker could sacrifice his knight. That was a possibility. So after capturing, queen takes on g6, king to f8, pushing the pawn, the only sensible defense, checking the king, king to g7, king up, and he can use his rook on the open file. So bishop to g6, queen to g5, and actually white has a very good position. White can use the rook, the knight can come in and check the king. So this is actually a very good position. So, well, I'm not sure if Lesker was planning to sacrifice his knight, but that's a possibility. Of course, Mikhail Tal would definitely <laughs> sacrifice his knight and go for the king. But... We have queen to b6 and definitely if capturing the pawn this time, uh, there is space for the king and king can escape. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces when your opponent's king haven't castled? Actually, most of the time, pushing the e-pawn is a very logical choice. So this is what Emmanuel Lesker did. Pushing the e-pawn, a beautiful textbook example why pushing the e-pawn is a logical idea when your opponent's king is in the mid is in the middle. So uh, Lesker simply pushed the e pawn and bishop takes on e6. But watch this: Black's position is collapsing. Knight takes on e6. Queen takes on g6. King to d7. So there is no castling for Black. Castling for Lesker and also defending the b pawn. Queen to a6, simply defending the pawn, and the knight joins the party, knight to g6. Bishop to f6, checking the king, king to c8, and knight to d3. Remaneuvering the knight, queen to c4, knight to c5. Rook to d8, rook to e1, and we have b6, and Lesker simply captured the pawn. But in this position, what happens if rook to d6, then simply checking the king, and next move, white can capture the pawn. 
So you can see that black is also going to lose his second pawn and Lesker simply captured the pawn, knight takes on e6, rook to h8, queen to g3, now threatening checkmate, it's that simple, king to b7, checking the king, king to a6, well in this position if king to a8, simply knight to d8, and if queen to a6 capturing the pawn and white has three extra pawns and this is actually all over for black. So this is most definitely losing. So king to a6 and actually Emmanuel Lesker played a killer move and after that move black resigned. Can you guess the next move of Emmanuel Lesker? No one can save Ryan. There is no saving Ryan. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? So let me give you a couple of seconds. Well, Emmanuel Lesker sacrificed his knight, knight to c5, a beautiful finishing touch by Emmanuel Lesker. The possible continuation, capturing the knight, checking the king, and pushing the pawn, and what not. Capturing, capturing. Well, black is forced to capture with the queen, capturing back, and this is all over for black. And what do you think about this chess game? I think this was also a very instructive chess game by Emmanuel Lesker. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.